What is up, people of the tube? My name's Verky, and today I'm gonna be analyzing some of my old clips, breaking them down, going through them, reacting to them. I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, you hit the bell icon, you do all that jazz. Super thanks, help me out. Yeah, so I'm kind of still recovering from my uh, ankle injury. Got no cast anymore. I'm on a boot now. I still can't walk, but tell you what, I don't really mind at the moment. I'm got no cast anymore. I can, my foot can actually breathe, so it's all good. Yeah. Let's get started. Right. Uh, first one I kind of want to start with was the Conga and Prix in Southampton. So I think at the time this was the world's first Conga and Prix. Mad thing, I was like 14, I think. I think it was 2018. Yeah, I was 14. I was 14 at the time. When? I think I ended up doing it like at least like four, five times. I remember going there on the day, like exactly with one purpose and that was to do that. Um, warmed up somewhere else first and I kind of just had that in my mind. So I couldn't really warm up for the other spots. I was like, oh, I just want to go there and send it really. Yeah, funny thing is you can actually see it from the, when you go past on the train. And I, when, I, on, when I used to go to London from Dorchester, that's where I'm from, I used to just look at it and think, ah, that, I swear you could con gain a pre that because of what I did first was the, uh, the Conga and Pri at the Parkour Project. Oh my god! <laughs> and arguably this one's actually more, a bit more fucked than the other one. This one's like way more closer, a bit more risk, but also it's in the gym. So I remember doing this one like a ridiculous amount of times, literally like had a few bells in it. I remember like taking a few, few heavy hits to my side. I remember falling off backwards as well. And then when we send in the Rudy as well, we just full took it to the side like Pwah! So when going in Southampton it was quite like I kinda knew what uh, what one felt like. Um but yeah, so when I did it, it was it was nice, it felt good. Look at that trim though. Jesus, what was I thinking? And those socks as well, oh my god. <laughs> was that ha those happy socks as well. And happy socks used to like sponsor everyone in parkour. I think before that I hit the, the Kong double gainer in uh down at South Bank. Maybe do another prep. That was the first like big thing I did, the Kong double gainer awards first there. But I think I'm gonna make another video on me analyzing the Kong double gainer. Go into more detail about that. So uh let me know in the comments if you'd like to see that. I've saved that one for the whole video, so let me know if you'd like to see that. Oh the next one. Alright, so next one is what I've got is cork breeze, just cork breeze in general. The first one I did was at the project again in Paul, that's where I'm from. Remember, I've never really seen this before um, when I was doing it, and I, I practiced it loads just on the flat ground on the sprung floor. I had my eye on this one for ages. This was like kind of near the time period where I did the Congena Pre, literally on the same bit. All I was thinking was hitting the Congena Pre and the cork Pre. So I think I had that like the energy from the Congena Pre where I was like, yeah. Let's do this. But yeah, all the ones on the floor kind of worked. So I was just like, yeah, I'll try to send it up to up high. Like a year later, I went and did one which is also in the same gym. My biggest, my biggest ever court pre today. Actually, I still haven't done one bigger. Yes! Yes! Fucking sick! I'm being so gassed. I haven't even done the side pre there. I think so. I think when I went for it, I was just like. Well, I'm even doing this because I, I haven't done the side grill. I think the first attempt was an undershoot, kind of almost balanced it in a way. I slipped a bit and went up and did it again and managed no hands. Shout out to Harrison filming that one. Oh, yes. Jeez, next I got on this list is Travis Scott. <laughs> Don't know about this video i'll link it in the description but basically it's me and ed scott out in 2020 just just after lockdown i think just made a video together really on an iphone gopro whatever yeah we just met up for a few days and just fucking sent it mainly in bristol exeter <laughs> video 
it's so fun to do and me and Ed kind of just work really well together because we're kind of similar level so when we, when we always train together we always push each other to do harder shit so I remember when we filmed this video especially the the double court pre at um, Castle Park in Bristol I remember doing that one and it was like took me at least like I think it was like 45 minutes to like an hour of trying to commit to it and I was there on my ones because Ed was trying another line back at uh, the main spot of Castle Park so yeah I was trying to trying to commit to that and I just couldn't and uh, I remember Ed coming over because he finished his other line he looked at it for like 10 minutes and just sent it and I was just like whoa okay I gotta do it now so I got back up did all the prep to the side where there was no wall and yeah sent it in the end on proper gas for that so yo yes! Fucking yes! and there's been there's been so many other clips like that in the whole video where I struggled with and Ed kind of pushed me to like commit to it we still do it now to be fair do it to each other for sure recent example of this is the the side pre in Bristol also but that's in my list so Keep watching for that. Next one is up in Nottingham, you know. My biggest ever Kung Fu. Oh, yes! Oh. 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 This one was crazy to me, man. Still my biggest Kung Fu today, in my opinion, as in like distance wise. Yeah, I was trying this one with James Parrish. James Parrish actually never, never actually committed to it in the end, but um, I kept going and it took, took me ages to commit. I had that wall to the right of me, which kind of acted as my safety. So every time I did it, I like I had to like tap my foot on it. And uh, I found it really hard just to break that habit of tapping my foot. And if I was going to go for this again, something like this again, then I definitely would not use this technique again because it would just, it just triggered me too much to just tap my foot there. Um, I nearly gave up actually. I remember one attempt here, yeah. Just like went to tap my foot, but I just didn't tap it. I just like, like strided the air almost. Yeah, <laughs> I mean after that I kind of shot myself and I was like right I can actually do it now so the run up was quite short, the overshoot, I was like wow fair I actually overshot this mad. Then I did a savage crane, hurt my ankle a bit and then I went back up and did the stick. Kind of stick, but I took it, <laughs> I took it. Yes! You know, you know I'm pissed off the whole challenge when I actually commit and do it nice. Like I don't even, not even happy. I'd made that face like. <laughs> Next one, big day this was. Me and me and Keelan were literally like watching the uh, story video literally like the day before, um, or the night before actually. It wasn't even the day before. Watching the uh, story water challenge video in London. And Keelan lives in Kent, so it's like it's only like an hour to London from where Keelan lives. So I popped. One of the stories a message like, yo, send us a pin for this spot. We'd like to go and try some of these challenges. I'd never done water challenges before this, so this was a bit sketchy for me. Ended up both of us not getting wet, so walked away with a dub for sure. Yeah, the main one that stood out was obviously the side pre. It's me prepping it here. That was the first prep where I kind of overshot it. And I was like, oh shit, am I going to get wet here? I came with the mentality with this side pre. I was just thinking, I've kind of just got a set that I'm going to get wet. like. It probably will just happen. I have my fresh Reeboks on as well. Literally, like I've had them for like a few days. This was like one of the first times I trained in like those Reeboks. Maybe that was why I stuck it. I don't know. <laughs> Mad to me because I committed so quickly, and before I never actually commit like this quickly to uh, the jumps. Normally, I take a while, like a little bitch. Yeah, I actually commit quite quickly. I was well happy with myself, and obviously didn't go in as well. A bit of a dodgy stick, but. I was aghast. I was gonna go again, but I thought the reaction was too good, so I fucking thought I'll just leave it at that one. <laughs> oh my god! Yes! Let's go! I can't, I can't. I... Alright, next one. So in Capstone, I did this line where I did the, uh, the pre down to Congain uh, reverse off. And in my head, when I went to that spot at the time in Capstone, I wanted to hit the side pre to Congain uh, to reverse off. But, um,. It was kind of wet at the time, really mossy. It was like middle of November. And I don't think I was kind of ready at the time as well. Like my, my mentality was like, I was quite scared to go for stuff like that. I kind of got there, I was like, oh, that's a bit much. But yeah, a few months later, kind of built up my side prees. I kind of got to a point where I was was ready to send this. So I went there, uh, one intention, that was to just hit the side pre. I think I was with Ed as well. I don't think Ed hit on day because he had a, some like problems with it, but he battled it. But he's done it recently, so. He made a video on that, so go check that out. He's smashed it, smashed it out of the park. So yeah, this is my first send here. Proper gas moment. This is when I 
when I hit that first end, I, in my head it was kind of just like, wow, I'm stepping up a level now, I can actually do these things, which I couldn't do a few months ago. So that, that feeling of progress is always sick, so that was fucking gas. Then I hit the whole line, which is sick, kind of third try as well. Konged off rather than reverse, but I'm gas with that still. I heard Danny saying that was like one of his one of my best lines ever, and I was I was thinking, what really? You think? That's good Looks fucking mad, bro. Yeah, yes, Trav, that's so sick. <laughs> Big up. Boom, boom. Nah, it looks like you just push it out the way. I think. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't do that's it again. Nice. I wouldn't do it again. Yeah, I think it looks nice. amazing. Um, that's yeah, the best smash it. Done, <laughs> so when you're doing it at the time, you kind of just do it, and you're like, oh, nice. And when someone says that to you, it's like, oh, what? You think it was that good? And then you like, kind of brings up the moment a bit more. You're just like, wow. Oh man, I miss doing this, bro. I've been training for like three weeks, and I'm looking at these moments now. I'm like, wow. Can't wait to be hitting gaps again. Yeah, this one was like an operation, man. Some sort of high shit. Like the security around the Tampa Stride is actually like mental. I think this must be some sort of important building. I don't know next to it, but we went there like a couple of days beforehand and I looked at it and I was thinking about doing it. I still wasn't sure if I could fully do this. So I was just like. Hmm. And then security came instantly, literally within like five seconds. So I remember we're not gonna touch on the roof. Yeah, let's go. Come on. Come back another day. Yeah, of course, of course, please. We went back a couple of days later. We went over and tried to be on incognito. George wanted to hit the dive kong, and I wanted to hit the uh, concrete. He smashed it. Did it very quickly. This is like my biggest thing I've ever done. So, my biggest compre I've ever done. So when I was just kind of just nervous the whole time, because I was like, shit, we could be kicked off at any moment. And... Charles wants to hit this insanely big compre, which has never been done, and for obvious reasons. Um, the problem with this spot is, yeah, you're just battling security, and now the sun's starting to set, so fingers crossed you can get it done. Remember the walls were like really slippy. Like on one side, the um, on, on one side the top was grippy. One side, one side the top was slippy, and then where, 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 where it was slippy, uh, the bottom bit was grippy. Oh, no, no, no. This wall's so slippy, and that side's grippy. But this top of the wall's slippy, and that top of that wall's grippy. Yeah. So it's like, what, what do I, what do I want to like? Uh, it's one or the other. Yeah, isn't it? Like, I was described that was so bad, Jesus. So yeah, it took me like three attempts in the end, like maybe four attempts of just full sprinting at it and. There's the crane, drop down. It was quite a big drop. I remember just full sprinting. Ah, oh, yes! Fucker! Yes! Whoa! Felt like I was fine, man. I've never gone that far with a Congree before. Probably my favorite clip ever. The maddest thing I've ever done, I think, in my opinion. Kind of started off as a joke, really. I kind of got there. I was like, <laughs> three feet front? Ooh, because the idea was hit the front originally. We had a pretty big day training before that anyway. I hit, hit the uh, some, some decent clips. We got there, I was kind of a bit tired, but, um, but I kind of saw the challenge and I was just like, okay, this is on. I'm ascending a front flip and sprinting up to it. And then, yeah, it was even my steps or like someone was telling me to stop every time. Cause I'm literally like jumping out of window head first. It was sketchy as hell, man. Oh, I'm such a <laughs> <laughs> if, I, if, if I was gonna do it then, it would be like wrong foot. So yeah, got my steps right and just sent the front. It's nice, it's a good feeling because I kind of knew like at least like five steps, five steps before the actual uh, jump. I knew I was going, and that's always a nice feeling. And the roof is like sandpaper, man. Like you're rolling it, it would like tear off all your skin, man. And you see how red my back is there? Like, <laughs> it was horrible. I threw a t-shirt too, man. There was no easy way down either. You had to like do some sketchy climb down. It was horrible. Yeah, I went up and. Um, Sent the 360 front. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> that, I've never been that much in the zone before. Yeah, I just sent it. Full send. Probably one of my biggest sends ever. <laughs> I never actually thought I was that close to the actual sides of the windows. I, uh, I always thought I was out the actual window before it looked like my feet, feet was close. I feel like in the back angle it looks like it's really close, but 
think I was kind of out before, or maybe uh, the front angle does look a bit sus. Remember, I wanted to go again because I slipped on the landing, and then George, George was just like, "Mate, nah, you're not going, pretty much." Bit of a different video this week, but I hope you guys enjoyed that. It was uh, fun going through all these old clips. Maybe, maybe realize how much I miss training for sure. Hopefully, this boy will heal up soon, and I can start getting clips for you guys as soon as I can. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, notification bell, all that shit. Um, if you feel like helping me out, um, hit the super thanks button. It really helps me out there. Yeah. Safe. See you next week.